Hi everyone, I'm going to sidestep a little bit from our journaling and mixed media this day today. I'm going to use a lot of scraps that I have and to upgrade this boring and ugly a, a cork board. So I hope you'll stay with me. So what I've done first, I've raided my stashes and took out a lot of scraps, all the leftovers from other projects. And I went basically with blues and greens. That's what I want to use today. So I've got all kinds of wipeout paper, something left from whatever, some piece from a jelly print, another uh, jelly print, but on a um, deli paper, some scrapbook paper that I've punched, smearing paint. <laughs> This was a boring uh, scrapbook paper, just white and black, and I have done the uh, shaving cream uh, marbling on it, and I didn't like it, but it's good for this project. Just another uh, page with smearing paint and all kinds of painty papers. So moving this aside for uh, a moment. When we start doing this, and I'm doing it for a friend, I've got a larger one uh, where my uh, near my uh, computer, my workstation, and she wanted uh, one also. So first of all, before we are starting to cover all this ugliness, uh, it's better to do the frame and not after because you don't want uh, to smear paint on uh, what you have inside. I'm going to use this Americana chalky finish. I bought it to renovate some uh, furniture, didn't use it and it, it's just a shame it's sitting without use. So I figured this could work uh, nicely uh, with the, the other uh, and it's almost completely dry. Nah. I think I'll skip it and use something else <laughs> as you can see maybe I'll try put some water later in it and I'll just pick another color to do my frame A acrylic paint something from my cheap store nothing to it and let's find something to put it on here we go so a little bit of paint, paintbrush, and just going over the frame. And I don't need to be careful because I don't have anything inside. Now you can also paint the cork and it also will be interesting. But I'm doing something else this time. So I'm going to go all over my uh, the frame and when it's finished I'll be back and we'll start with the inside of the, this uh, cork board. I'm back. So I've got the frame. I made sure every uh, brown ugliness is covered and now I'm uh, getting to my scraps and I'm trying starting to cut all kinds of rectangles and I don't go for two little pieces it will take forever I'm going to collage uh, all this uh, background and play with all these pieces so as you can see I don't measure don't nothing just making all kinds of sizes so I will have with what to play and it is playing like so and if I feel like this is very interesting or this is very interesting the, the colors but uh, other than that I don't have anything on it I can take a stamp and just go over and make something more interesting like here I took a butterfly I'm stamping it and now I've got something really more interesting 
then a minute ago and I'll cut this also to smaller pieces and it will be in my collage so I've got quite a work for me now to cut a lot of pieces like so I hope I'm in frame and you can see what I'm doing of course you can do it with scissors and you don't have to go with rectangles you can do whatever you want whatever you like you can do circles it can be very very interesting with circles but right now I'm going with rectangles so I'm going to cut uh, the other uh, papers that I've showed you and then I'll come back I'm back I've got lots and lots of uh, pieces here and white glue and that's how I go about uh, doing a collage either background or here <laughs> just uh, upgrading this boring um, cork uh, board so the way I go about it is I pick first the largest uh, pieces I've got and I will move this a little bit to the side and I'm starting with the corners or the edges of my uh, if it's a page or <laughs> in this case the, this board so I will start at the edges and move towards the inside and the thing I like to do and just uh, so uh, I won't forget I'm also putting glue on top and I'm smoothing it to make sure it's uh, in place and glued uh, all the way and it's also sealed so and if I, I've taken from this uh, page I will continue with the same uh, page and I will make sure that I have it uh, distributed if, it's, if that's the word uh, all over I don't want to find myself at the end of the collage that I have from one pattern in one side and another pattern on the other side so if I will take I'm using this uh, then I will put one here I'll put one here and here is another one and I always I don't know why I always uh, start with three and then move uh, on so I'm going to put down this and you need to be very uh, <laughs> to put a lot of glue because uh, some of it is going to sink into the cork board and you want everything glued in place so be uh, so put a lot of uh, glue be generous with the glue that's the word I was looking for generous sometimes I just the words are there but they are eluding me so next let's do this just because I've just I've put it here already and I'm moving it a little bit so I will have Here we go, and glue on top. Generous amount of glue. And I like uh, to use all the shapes and change the direction. And as I said, it doesn't have to be rectangles, it can be circles, it can be whatever you want. You can, if you don't want straight end edges, just tear your pages, whatever you've got. Go for the look that will please you and the colors that you like. So let's do just more, uh, some more pieces so you will see what I'm doing. And... 
yeah let's start here I know I haven't done all the edges but it's not that uh, critical and on top and I like to overlap again it it's up to you what you like there is no there are no rules to it just do whatever you like this is one way to upgrade this and after I'm going to collage this whole area there are more uh, tricks and tips to add to this cork uh, board so there is still to come okay so I'm going to uh, continue gluing down uh, pieces and I'll be back when uh, this is all covered I'll be back I'm back so everything is covered but still I want to add something a little bit more to this a uh, collage and I'm uh, going to add paper napkin now it can be bold it can be something that will blend again up to you I'm taking this paper napkin and I'm going to use it at least on one corner just to add a little bit of something and to break a uh, a little bit of the monotone of this background and it's still wet as you can see so I'm trying to separate now the white uh, layers from my paper napkin let's see okay and I'm going to now and cut only a quarter out of it so it will fit one corner on my cork board okay here we go I'm thinking I'm putting one here and because it's all wet and all with glue I am not putting more glue just laying down my paper napkin and now I'm going to move over it gently so and with the flat of the brush make it slide don't drag your napkin oops didn't go well Now it's good that uh, it's on a white background, that's how it blends uh, with the rest and several, what I have beneath can be, uh, can be seen through the napkin. And I'm thinking I'm going to put just another one on this corner. So again, just taking quarter of the napkin Oopsie. laying it down gently and now again on top and smoothing it out I don't want it on my fr on the frame Here we go. 
and I could have picked uh, some other a uh, paper napkin with a bolder a uh, design like something with black and go another way with it this time I wanted a little bit more uh, something a little bit more subtle so that's what I've picked for uh, this board and now I'm going to add another thing I want a pocket on this board and I'm going to use this is a toilet paper roll uh, that I squirted with uh, water so I can flatten it easily and I have a video about how to make uh, toilet paper rolls into pockets that can be used anywhere if it's in your art journal or whatever so uh, this is uh, only the beginning this is the toilet paper roll which now I am going to uh, put glue here on the bottom so it will be closed little bit glue here and I'm going to take a circular punch let's see here we go I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to either a uh, uh, paint it or uh, glue something on top. Right now, I just want uh, to punch it. <laughs> this is in my way. I'll manage somehow. How did I do it? <laughs> I know I've done it before right now it doesn't want to let me punch it let's see I've got another one here we go so I'm uh, putting this inside and punching so now I've got this pocket like this and I'm thinking I'm going to just uh, paint it with the same color I've uh, put on my frame only I will add a little bit of white just so it will be more interesting so let's pick up white This is still wet, so I can't put anything on it right now. What's up with it? Okay, so we've got a little bit of white and just going around painting everything I don't want this brown showing I think I need more of the white It's giving me trouble right now. Okay, more white and just smearing it. Making sure that the sides are covered. Again, I don't want this brown to pick out. Okay, so I've got this and I'm just going to put something here so it won't stick to each other. Let's take some brush 
I'll put it aside to dry and I'll come back when this is dry when the pocket is dry and we'll continue I'm back so my cork board is still wet so moving on to other uh, things that are going on top of the cork board uh, first we have the pocket from the toilet paper roll that I want to decorate and I still have the same uh, stamp I've used on the pages that uh, in the background on the cork uh, board so I'm just using the same stamp just to add to this pocket so it would be a little bit more interesting and I'm thinking I'm going to ink around don't know if it will help you but I uh, lately I've uh, purchased this uh, makeup sponges uh, with, uh, in this uh, shape and what I do uh, instead of uh, each time uh, looking for another one I just uh, put the, uh, the, the one that I've used for each ink pad like this and then I don't have to change them and it will it just keeps with the same ink pad and I don't need to uh, uh, find me something clean or that won't smear with the one that I'm uh, working on. So here it is, inked around the edges, like so. Also where I've punched like a half circle. Here it is, my pocket is ready. And what I'm doing now, I've got this a uh, stamp, which says in Hebrew, uh, things to remember. And of course, you don't have to have something like that, but I have it. So I'm making, a, I'm printing it on, this is just a regular print, printer paper only, a blue. And I already printed on two others. So I'm uh, making this and I'm going to cut them and put them, uh, most of them inside the pocket so you can always take one out and write on it and pin it to the cork board. And I'm also going to just cut it by hand. I'm not uh, concerned about the notes being uh, symmetrical and accurate and whatever so I as, don't know if you noticed but I did pick a printer paper that will uh, correspond with the colors that I have on my cork board and now it's just cutting all these notes to be used on the, on the board very very simple as I said you don't have to have this kind of fit uh, stamp if you do that's great if you don't you can make any kinds of notes to be used on the board in any shape you want you can do uh, put post-its okay. any bulletin that you like arrows circles here we go first batch like this and here it is so this is going to be glued to my uh, board I need to cut this wait for <laughs> everything on the board to dry and I'll come back I'm back and here is uh, the cork board I'm trying to get it to fit uh, into the frame <laughs> and it's mostly a uh, dry now so we can continue <laughs> uh, working on it 
So first of all, I've got the pocket and this uh, little notes uh, for things to remember, which I'm going to uh, adhere here. And I'm just using, uh, this is a really strong glue, something I've picked up in the hardware store. And it's um, uh, some local brand, I think, so I don't have anything to uh, say about it. But usually when you really want a strong uh, glue, you should go to the hardware store and not the craft uh, stores or cheap stores so I've got it here and just so I'll I want to be sure uh, it will stay in place and be adhered completely I'm taking for now the notes uh, out and now let's put them aside now uh, more uh, ideas for this uh, cork uh, board I want to stamp a little bit. I really like that I have the butterfly on a few of the pieces and I figured that it would be nice if I had also a flower uh, all over uh, this page and I just picked one and again I'm taking the same ink pad, the Memento Nautical Blue just to keep with all the colors I already got and I don't care that it's not prominent, I just want to add something to the whole thing. Like if I see here it's too white for me, I'm just adding here a flower. And it doesn't have to be a great print, it just needs to add to the whole. So this flower and I think I'll just stamp it here also and this is it now ideas to add to uh, to this uh, board I've got uh, all kinds of paper clips uh, more decorative than the regular uh, office paper clips now uh, this one I can just put glue here and attach it and then I can just take any kind of paper that I want and just stick it here and if I've got something like this I can take a pin let's put one here I hope you can see. Maybe I'll take another uh, color just so you can see what I'm doing. Where is it? Never mind, I can't find the other colors I had. I hope you, you can see. So I can put one here, I can take a pin. And here we go. And I can put any kind of notes. To remember things or whatever so this is one uh, one way and you can also use a uh, cloth clothes paints I've got them this is from the craft so, uh, store and I've got them in several uh, sizes and again can be glued down like this and again once they are glued you can Put whatever you want in. I also have uh, this clothes pins with uh, this owl that I am uh, thinking of attaching here. I've got three of them and that's what I'm planning on attaching to this board. And another option is bulldog clips, uh, any kind of uh, them. And again, you just take a pin and insert it here like this pin it to your to your board like this and again you can attach whatever you want like so another uh, ID is if you've got um, 
little notebooks, even bought, store bought ones like this one. You can uh, put glue here, attach it to your board, and now you also have more uh, notes to use. So that's uh, all my ideas. I'm thinking I'm going to attach the owls like so and I'm may, going to also add just some uh, pins to be used it's a, it is a gift to, to a friend of mine I'll just uh, spread around some of the pins on the board and basically this is it and here are my uh, notes that go in this pocket and let's see here it maybe I'll put another font here it is I can now you can see it better I can put another one let's go I got purple if I want like this and here we go you can attach whatever you want to it so uh, basically this is it and I'm thinking that I should just glue the paper clips with the owls again I'm using the same glue even if you've got a uh, the simple wooden uh, cloth pins regular size you can decorate them and use them I've got some somewhere and I can just decorate them you can paint them and glue pieces of paper to them basically sky the limit you can do many things with it i hope everything is in frame and you can see what i've done here and this is it i hope you'll do your own uh, court board uh, thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below and i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now